A world-renowned painter is busy at work in Northwest Iowa these days, creating something never before seen in Iowa. Elias Johnson takes us high above Fort Dodge for a masterpiece in the making. Head east along 3rd Avenue Northwest in Fort Dodge, you'll come across an unmistakable landmark. It is uh, not very appealing or attractive. Call it Fort Dodge's most forgettable scene along the River District. It's prominent. It's an entryway into Fort Dodge. It's visible for quite a ways. Grain that once filled the 110-foot silos is long gone, much like any use for the old structure. But where some see another eyesore needing to be demolished, Edo Van Helton sees a blank canvas. Kind of that, got that industrial kind of style to it, and I'm just working with the building as much as possible. For years, amateurs have tried their own hand to decorate these silos. Guido takes a more subtle approach. I'm trying to match it with the wall, you know. Until he gets the tones of this special paint just right. And ascends. I mean, it's more like a sculpture, you know. Close, these brush strokes don't appear to reveal much, but take a step back and you'll see the masterpiece he's truly creating. I'm fascinated with the elderly gentleman's hands. Uh, you know, he did a very good job. I watched him over the last few weeks when he started roughing it in, uh, going back and putting the detail. The faces are very interesting. Commissioned by the Fort Dodge Public Arts Coalition with help from several foundations and private donations, the Australian-born painter spends each day high above transferring images of real local people he photographed a year ago under the face of the building. It's got history for this town, so to take that surface and to turn it into, uh, to, you know, to utilize it in a creative way, mm -hmm. it's pretty, pretty interesting because other than that, it's just this boring old silo that's been here forever. But the fact that the, the city has um, had the foresight to think about what can we do with this structure because, you know, it would be a shame to knock it down, but a lot of people maybe you don't even notice it because you know, it's been here so long, but yeah. To me, I don't understand how he can do it. Basically, Guido mapped out every square inch of the silo using a grid system. Her hair is positioned in that spot because I'm hiding that, that uh, you know, abnormality of that wall, you know, being, that being such a in, uh, decrease in the, in the gap. So it's, it's stuff that normal people won't notice, but it's what I'm thinking about. Call it a right brain on steroids, even the weather, hasn't deterred. Well, it actually hasn't been cold enough because I got I got all this warm, you know, I got wool and everything on, and I have to take it off. Usually. Luckily, he'll have this masterpiece wrapped up long before January rolls around, giving neighbors in Fort Dodge and visitors for years to come something you can't help but stop and admire. Pretty amazing, and when complete, that mural will be the tallest of its kind in the state. The paint being used bonds to the concrete, helping to seal the silo, and it should make it last many years for visitors to enjoy.